Hey learners, welcome to my channel. This is Pranshi Verma and in today's video we are going to learn deep learning multiple choice question and answers and they are very important for your upcoming examination. Now let's begin. In this your first question is what is the difference between the actual output and generated output known as option A output modulus option B accuracy Option C cost. Option D output differences. Right answer is option C cost. Okay. Next one. Recurrent neural networks are best suited for text processing. Is true or false? Here's right answer is true. Okay. So recurrent neural network are best suited for text processing. Third one is prediction accuracy of a neural network depends on blank space. Then and blank space option a input and output option b weight and bias option c linear and logistic function option d activation and threshold right answer is option second weight and bias next question recurrent network work best for speech recognition true or false this is true next question gpu stands for option a Graphics Processing Unit, Option B, Gradient Processing Unit, Option C, Journal Processing Unit, Option D, Good Processing Unit. Right answer is Graphics Processing Unit, Option A. Next question, Gradient at a given layer is the product of all gradients at the previous layers. False or true? Here, this is true. Next question. Blank space is a neural net's way of classifying inputs. Option A, learning. Option B, forward propagation. Option C, activation. Option D, classification. Right answer is option B, forward propagation. Next question, name the component. Next question, question A it is, name the component of a neural network where the true value of the input is not observed. Option A, hidden layer. Option B, gradient descent. Option C, activation function. Option D, output layer. And here, right answer is option A, hidden layer. Next question, blank space works best for image data. Option A, autoencoders. Option B, single layer perceptrons. Option C, convolution networks. Option D, random forest. Right answer is option C, convolution networks. Next question. Neural networks algorithm are inspired from the structure and functioning of the human biological neuron. This is true or false? This is true. Next question. In a neural network, all the edges and nodes have the same weight and bias values. True or false? This is false. Next question. Blank space is a recommended model for pattern recognition in unlabeled data. Option A. CNN. Option B, shallow neural networks. Option C, autoencoders. Option D, RNN. Right answer is option C, autoencoders. Okay, autoencoders is a recommended model for pattern recognition in unlabeled data. Next question, process of improving the accuracy of a neural network is called option A, forward propagation. Option B, cross validation. Option C, random box. Option D, training. Right answer is option D, training. Next question. Data collected from survey results is an example of option A, data. Option B, information. Option C, structured data. And option, option D, unstructured data. Right answer is structured data. Guide, data collected from surveys result is an example of structured data. Okay. Next question, a shallow neural network has only one hidden layer between input and output layer. Is true or false? Is true. Next question, support vector machines means SPM and NAP bias and logistic regressions are used for solving problems. Kis type ki problem solve karne ke use hota hai? Option A, clustering. Option B, classification. Option C, regression. Option D, time series. Right answer is option B, classification. Okay. So, SVM, NAP bias and logistic regression are used for solving classifications type of problems. Okay. Next question. 
the rate at which cost change with respect to weight or bias is called option a derivative option b gradient option c rate of change and option d loss here right answer is option c rate of change okay guys yahan par answer uh, separately mention nahi hai aap dhyan dijiyega please answer is rate of change next question what does lstm stands for option a long short term memory option b least square term memory option c least square time mean option d long short threshold memory right answer is long short term memory option a next question all the visible layers in a restricted boltzmann machine are connected to each other this is true or false this is false next question all the neurons in a convolution layer have different bits and biases is true or false is true sorry is false next question What is the method of overcome the decay of information through time in RNN known as option A back propagation option B gradient descent option C activation option D gating right answer is option D that is gating question number 22 recurrent network can input sequence of data points and produce a sequence of output is true or false is true next question A deep belief network is a stack of restricted Boltzmann machines. Option A false and option B true. This is true. Next question: Restricted Boltzmann machine expects the data to be labeled for training. Is true or false? Is false. Next question: What is the best neural networks model for temporal data? Option A. recurrent neural networks option b convolution neural networks option c temporal neural networks and option d is multi layer perceptrons so right answer is recurrent neural networks okay next question r e l u stands for option a reactified linear unit option b reactified lagrangian unit option c regressive linear unit option d regressive lagrangian lagrangian unit right answer is option a reactified linear unit okay guys this is important question for your examination next question why is the pooling layer used in a convolution neural network option a they are of number used in cnn option b dimensional reduction option c object recognition option d image sensing right option is dimensional reduction okay next question what are the two layers of a restricted boltzmann machine called option a input and output layer option b recurrent and convolution layers option c activation and threshold layers option d hidden and visible layer right answer is hidden and visible layers next question the measure of difference between two probability distribution is known as option a probability difference option b cost option c kl divergence option d error right answer is option c kl divergence next question a blank space matches or surpasses the output of an individual neuron to a visual stimulus pooling option a max pooling option b gradient option c cost option d convolution here right answer is option d convolution means a convolution matches or surpasses the output of an individual neuron to a visual stimuli max pooling next question the rate at which cost change with respect to weight or bias is called option a derivative option b gradient option c rate of change option d loss right answer is option b gradient next question auto encoders are training use option a feed forward option b reconstruction option c back propagation option d d they do not require training right answer is option c back propagation okay so auto encoders are training using back propagation method and algorithms okay next question How do R and T S interrupt words? Option A, one-hot encoding. Option B, lower-case versions. 
ऑप्शन सी वर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑप्शन डी वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी वेक्टर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डी नॉइसिंग एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्टिव आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑप्शन ए शेलो न्यूरल नेटवर्क ऑप्शन बी ऑटो इनकोडर्स ऑप्शन सी कॉन्वोल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क ऑप्शन डी रिकरेंट न्यूरल नेटवर्क योर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ऑटो इनकोडर्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव ऑटो इनकोडर्स कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर डायमेंशनलिटी रिडक्शन इज फॉल्स और ट्रू इज फॉल्स सो गाइज ऑटो इनकोडर्स कैन बी यूज फॉर डायमेंशनलिटी रिडक्शन ओके गाइज Now see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Wish you a very very all the best for your examination. Keep learning.